Welcome back everybody, Eric here, and today me and Chad are out here doing a little bit of plinking. Plinking is a classic American pastime. We want to make this video about plinking. What is plinking and what do you do when you plink? Well, the answer is traditionally plinking involved pop cans, soda cans, tin cans, anything laying around the house that makes a noise or reacts that you can shoot is plinking. Uh, it is a classic American pastime. Of course, a lot of the uh, you know classic scenes that you see from books and a lot of old illustrations show you know grandpa out in the yard with the kids shooting tin cans and things like that. Old pop cans, bottles. Of course, we're not going to be shooting bottles today, but we are going to showcase several items that you would shoot when you plink. This is a 1939 Winchester Model 62 Gallery gun. Of course, we are going to be shooting more modern guns than that today, but I thought what better way to introduce the video to you than with a nice classic firearm for a nice classic American subject. So let's plink. All right, one classic plinking item that you're gonna see throughout history and even to this day are just regular old tin cans, uh, you know. So we're gonna set up a few tin cans and shoot them move on to a few other things. Of course, you saw the first thing we were shooting, of course, was full sodas. If you've watched our page any, you know that we're a fan of shooting full sodas just because they react so nice. We'll probably shoot a few more, but for now, let's shoot some tin cans and we'll move on to a few other things. How many uh, cans you got? Enough. We can always set them back up. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, GoPro's rolling. You're good. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, got my switch to my Ruger 1022. Let's shoot a few uh, tin cans. Are we starting to see the idea? We're gonna try a little tin can mountain here and we've got uh, some tracers this time. So let's see how they do. First, I have a bottle. I'm gonna shoot through the cap. Ready? Two liter. There we go. All right, let's see if we can take down the mountain. Another classic plinking item are clays. Same thing you shoot with your shotgun, except people will set them on the berm. Or, you know, these are great for kids because they're easy to see, great to train children on, and this is just a great classic plinking item. Everybody loves shooting clays. So let's shoot a few. Very cool. So I'll tell you what, you know, we've, we've, we've done exploding Coke cans, we've done tin cans, we've done some clays with some tracers. We're about to step this up a notch. All right, we're gonna step the game up a notch. We've been shooting some uh, pretty easy to hit targets. We're gonna try a couple other odds and ends. 
we got 22 LR brass. All right, this is laying all over the range, but I bet you've never tried of just taking a couple and putting them up on a two by four and see if you can shoot them. I'm gonna try my hand at it. Chad, of course, is a master behind a 22. I'm not too bad. We'll see if I can hit a few of them. We're not very far away, but we are using tracers for a theatrical effect. So I'm trying to get a little close to make sure these tracers can connect with these 22 LR cases. Let's give it a try. There's one. There's two. There's three. Ooh, right beside it. Ooh, just barely missed it. Not bad, but we'll see how Chad does. All right, so I've got my uh, 1022 here. It's just a rifle length 1022. And uh, I'm gonna try to shoot these casings like Eric did with the tracers and see how well we fare. Hopefully we can catch some in slow-mo. Have at it. Good shot. A little low. Perfect. Oh wow. You nicked it on that first shot. You see that? Hard to see those little boogers. Boy, they are. Here, why don't you, uh, some more tracers here. I'm giving Chad a big evil mag. Very evil looking. Man, you're right on them. Good shot. Good shooting, man. I'll tell you what, you have a headache? You know what, I do have a slight headache. Let's remedy that. All right, so Eric set up some aspirin for me here uh, for my headache. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to shoot these with a 1022. And uh, you should see a little white cloud as they puff up. So we'll see what happens. Good shooting. Oh, perfect. Good shooting. A little high. Oh, well, they do puff up pretty good when you hit them. They do. They do. These are a lot easier to see than those uh, 22 casings. Yeah, little mini clays. Pretty you much. You get a bottle of aspirin pretty cheap. They're definitely a challenge to hit us. I mean, it's like shooting uh, probably a four-inch plate at maybe 100 yards. Good shot. Good shot. You're on them, dude. Not bad. Very cool. All right, so we've been out here shooting uh, the 1022s a little bit, just doing some planking. But um, I brought my uh, match grade 1022 out. This is a gun that I've kind of built up over the past uh, few years. It has a uh, MOA, stainless steel receiver, a shilling bull barrel. Um, high rings, a Leupold 618 scope, and a nice thumb hole stock with a high comb on it. This gun is basically set up for silhouette shooting. And um, in the sport of small bore silhouette, you have uh, various targets at different ranges, starting I think at about 33 meters. And uh, you have these chickens, they're about this big. And uh, the clays here are slightly larger. But we're about the same distance away, and we're just going to try some offhand shooting with it to replicate 
the silhouette style. And um, just gonna have a little fun. This is definitely a challenge, especially with a high powered scope, but um, a lot of folks out there, they think that having a high powered optic on there gives you a little bit better accuracy and of where you actually put the bullet once you get a nice steady hold. So we're gonna give it a shot. Good shooting. Right in the center. You're on it, man. Definitely been a while since I played with that. All right, people, so hopefully this video, you know, kind of drove the point home when it comes to plinking and what it's about. You know, it's a classic American pastime. You know, we've all done examples of these types of items, taking them out to shoot soda bottles and different things like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it'll bring you back to hopefully an area of your childhood. A lot of us remember plinking when we we're younger and shooting cans with grandpa and that kind of thing. So. Uh, you know, just bear that in mind, that it's, it's a classic American pastime. We do have a lot of other 22 videos in the pipeline. After this video, you'll see a little B-roll that's got links to a couple of our other works that we've done with 22s. Uh, so I'm going to take a few shots with the silhouette rifle on the clays. We'll leave you guys with that. Oh yeah. All right, people. Enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Good.